Hey guys, and welcome back to Terraria 1.3 Hard Mode. <laughs> oh, look at this, look at this. I got a sign. It says sneaky. Ah, I love that. In fact, I love this game, if I haven't mentioned it before. it's uh, I think it's amazing. Um, this is gonna be what episode uh, 42, which is a uh, which is a lot of time. Even if you think of uh, me only playing during the <laughs> the episodes, uh, of course I I play a lot of off camera um, and I do a lot of stuff. And some of the stuff that's been on camera has been like speeded up uh, and edited and such. So that's a lot of hours I put into this game. And this isn't even the first time I played Terraria, right? It's uh, I, I played it uh, a while back uh, before I st started the uh, the Let's Play series. So, but the 1.3 has uh, of course added a lot of new stuff, so uh, it still feels uh, fresh and new to me. Uh, and there's still a lot of stuff I haven't not done yet. Um, in fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna try one of those things uh, right now. We're gonna expand the uh, home here a little because I need a little extra room here. So let's uh, let's take out this. Uh... Yes, it's only gonna take a second because this here pickaxe is amazing. Um. Oh, and I want to show you guys something else. Oh, I got I forgot to show you guys uh, a while back. Uh, let's let's uh, let's go outside quick. I still haven't defeated any uh, bosses or anything. I, I would let you guys know. It would be in the... Let's take down this tree. Amazingly tall tree. Thank you. Uh, but, are you ready for it? I got this. Ta-da! Yes, I got my own unicorn. Weehoo! A unicorn mount. I gotta admit, I don't use it much. Because this is about as... It can double jump, but uh, this is about as tall uh, or as high as it can uh, jump, uh, and it doesn't really compare to my wings. But it's still pretty awesome, uh, and uh, it means I'm part of the uh, the horsey set or whatever you call it. Is it a uni <laughs> unicorn set? Um, yeah, and another thing. Um, I think it's time for us to take off this pink armor I'm wearing uh, because I've managed to collect enough adamantite to make myself an adamantite armor. Yes, so let's uh, let's take off this thing, put it over, and we're gonna put it over on the. I have a mannequin ready for it, and we're putting this on. I think I had. F I had I had the uh, 49 uh, defense. It hasn't changed yet. Uh, and there we go. Does it change when? Yeah. Now I have 57. So that was a boost of six points. Uh, what we're gonna miss, of course, is the uh, little pedal thing that shoots out uh, because that was the due, that was the set bonus from. Uh, you know. But I do think that this thing has. Uh, I looked at the various bonuses you get. Uh, you get a set bonus, 18% increased melee and movement speed. And since we're doing melee speed uh, most of the time, even though the uh, the it seems like we're throwing things, uh, the the banana is a boomerang thing and uh, it counts as a melee weapon. Um, and um, the breastplate gives you extra d damage. I think overall this set is uh, is better than uh, than the Oricalum uh, set, uh, but uh, only time will tell. And also, I look awesome. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure about that shimmering effect it has. Uh, that's a little weird. Um, we'll get used to it, I'm sure. Wun, wun, wun. But yeah, it makes it a little like I can't focus on uh, my character because he's he's woo 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 woo. Um, oh, anyway, let's get back to our project at hand. Uh, we're gonna need that, I think. Uh, so 
crypto. We were making another room in here. How big do I need this room to be? I don't know. I think about this big. Maybe I uh, want it a little. Let's take a little off the ceiling here. There we go. And it's we're gonna take away the the wall behind it. You know what? You shouldn't be sitting through this. Uh, I'll get right back to you when uh, I'm in this room. And voila, the room is done, or at least the uh, <laughs> the basics of the room. But uh, that's the stuff I'm gonna put in it. Let's see if I. Uh, if I figured this out correctly, I don't know. What are you guys talking about down there? Oh, they're talking about the guide. And something. Um, they're doing... Uh, what are they doing? They're doing uh, like... Uh, oh, I forget what it's called. You know, like... Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what they're doing. Uh, okay. I get distracted <laughs> easily. I don't know if you noticed. Um, let's see. Yes, a target dummy. That's what we wanted. Let's make, let's make three. I think three is a good number. Let's go see how that looks. Let's put uh, one there, one there, and one there. Actually, we can have four. Let's make another one. I changed my mind again. Let's get a fourth one in there. You make those with the hay. Uh, hay. <laughs> with hay. Uh, that the... Uh, and you get the hay from um, using a sickle. You can't uh, craft a sickle, you have to buy it from the merchant. So then you can just uh, cut the grass wherever. Okay, let's see how this works. Yeah, see, you can test your... Your weapons on it, and this thing you notice uh, doesn't carry through. This just hits the first. Oh, 128. That was a critical or something. Uh, let's let's try something else. We have some other weapons here. Uh, let's see. We have the this thing. See, this thing goes right through all of them. And then this way we can test uh, our various weapons and see how they work. Um, so this might actually be more efficient if I'm facing either a bunch of foes or or if I'm uh, like facing the uh, that worm thing because uh, it has many uh, uh, targets you can hit. Let's try the uh, oh yeah the golden shower. Wow. I can't believe still that they put this in here, but this actually seems like a pretty good weapon. Um, let's just go. Let's go test something else. Do I did I put those away? What do I have in my whoops? Tools, spells, bows, and guns. I need a good gun actually. Um, um, I got this shoddy marrow. Where did I put? I had a I had a better better bow than that. Why did I put that? Well, uh, as you can tell, I'm even with my new uh, treasure room, I still haven't quite sorted out everything. Uh, because uh, there's always, uh, you know, one more thing to do. Something uh, I want to test out or build or try to get or something. But uh, that's what keeps the game fun, I think. Uh, but that's why I can't find my uh, my bow right now. I think I had a like a mess. Yeah, this was like a dump off chest uh, that needs to be sorted. But I don't know what happened to the rest of my. Oh, there it is, the ice bow. Let's try that out. I also have the laser rifle. Let's also let's test that as well. Here we go. Laser rifle. 
Oh, that's pretty good. It does uh, a little penetration. Uh, seems like it doesn't do... Ah, no, it does the same. Oh, depending on... Depends a little how much it penetrates. The only reason I'm not using this is... Uh, if I'm fighting one of the bosses, I have a hard time uh, keeping track of everything that's going on. And look what happens if I just uh, let it rip here. Look at my blue mana stars over there. And then all of a sudden, I, I'm like, uh, 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 I'm not shooting, why am I not shooting? Uh, and I hate it when that happens during combat. But it seems like uh, for battling the twins and such, uh, a ranged weapon would be good. This is my... Uh, a powerful ice bow. Let's see how much uh, does okay damage. But this is eh, eh, as fast as I can fire it. So it doesn't fire very uh, quickly. Uh, I think uh, I do much more damage with this because it goes much faster. But I also burn through my my uh, mana. I guess I could. Uh, uh, get a bunch of mana potions and uh, she can spam mana potions but I think they have cooldown just like the uh, the healing potions so I'm still gonna run out and uh, these hard mode bosses I can really take a beating but I think it's awesome that we now have uh, a room where we can test these things and get a idea of how they work I recommend everybody building uh, your own little uh, practice room. I'm gonna put this down in the... actually the um, lazy laser rifle is... I'm categorizing that as a spell since it is doing magic damage so it may look like a gun and have a name like a gun but it is in fact a spell. Uh, but the added poison staff is uh, pretty good as well. I don't think... Uh, I, I think the bosses are immune to um, to poison debuff, so uh, it's probably not that awesome against the boss. Okay, well we did some uh, building in this episode, uh, and we got my new armor, uh, and we did some practice dummy testing. Uh, what should we do? Whoa, is that a golden bunny? And now is it that golden bunny? I thought it would uh, like spew out some a lot of gold for me. I want gold. Um, for the reforging of items and such. Yeah, so um, I've been thinking what is my next step. Uh, if I'm gonna try and tackle the uh, the mechanical bosses again, I've been kind of dodging them because uh, when it comes out with the warning that it's gonna be a terrible night tonight, you know that the that the boss is coming. Uh, but if I stay on the ground, the nothing happens. It's only if I go up here that uh, they actually appear. So I've been kind of dodging them because it didn't seem like it was getting didn't seem like I was getting any closer to defeating them. Uh, but uh, now we have some new armor. What I have been trying to do is I have been trying to go to the um, to the jungle because I was hoping to get an Uzi of uh, it's a rare drop from the uh, the, uh, what they call the big plant thing, the man catcher things. Um, but I haven't gotten one yet. Uh, maybe next time uh, I'll do a uh, like a jungle uh, expedition. Uh, maybe you guys uh, can tell me what you think I should do next. Should I should I work towards is, is the next boss really uh, the mechanical bosses or am I uh, should I try Plantera or something uh, instead? What is the uh, next logical step? Or do you want to see me do some uh, some jungling? <laughs> that sounds like something from uh, League of Legends or something. Um, <laughs> let me know in the comments, uh, and I'll uh, I'll follow uh, if you have any reasonable suggestions. Then I'll follow those. Uh, and if you have any questions, I'll try and answer those. This is actually a pretty good magic staff, this. So, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, maybe this was a bit short, I don't know. Uh, I lost track of time. Um, 
But in any case, I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because that really helps me out. So until next time, see you. Bye. Thank you.